Yes, all right. Thank you very, very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel for yet another fantastic update that we are bringing you here on this particular channel. In this video, now we are going to talk about good news for Black Stars player. Yes, uh, we are going to give you all the details you ought to know from that particular good news. The official African Cup of Nations 2023 ball has been released by FIFA. And um, we are going to give you the history about the ball. The ball will be called Poku, Poku, Poku. So we are going to talk to you more about the CAF, African Cup of Nations 2023, the official match ball for the tournament. We are going to talk to you about that. And then we will look at Mohamed Kudus news still trending. Mohamed Kudus, um, the coach of West Ham United, David Moyes, is speaking about him. And then also he has also said one or two things about um, certain English clubs and players. And we are going to bring you all the details in this particular video. It's a very, very interesting, fantastic update we are bringing you here. So do want to subscribe to the channel. If you've not subscribed, like this video, hit the notification bell and select all. So that anytime I drop a video, you will be the first person to have the video. Leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. If you have any, it's always a pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much for staying with us so calf and puma signed a deal to ensure that puma will um, bring us the official ball for the african cup of nations now calf and puma signed an agreement weeks ago that will see sports where manufacturers supply the official match ball at calf tournaments as well as provide a kit for referees and engage in several marketing opportunities both inside and outside the stadium it is the first time we will be seeing puma balls at an african cup of nations as they replace umbro the official ball is named poku and serves as a tribute to the ivorian football legend loren poku poku known as the man of asmara whose five goals in the 6-1 victory over Ethiopia at the 1970 African Cup of Nations remains a, competitive, um, a competition record. Um, Erwan, a son of late Poku, presented the iconic and beautifully designed match ball to the audience during the 2023 African Cup of Nations draw. The ball features the three main colors of Cote d'Ivoire flag, which is orange, white, and green, and then uh, whilst incorporating the latest technology that will evolutionize the game on the continent and beyond. So yes, that is the details of the ball, Poku. The name of the ball is Poku, and um, it was presented by the late Lauren Poku's son, Erwin. And um, that particular ball was also manufactured by Puma. That's the first time they are manufacturing an African Cup of Nations ball after Umbro left that particular deal. Now, let's continue and then talk to you more about Thomas Party hearing some very good news. This is off the field good news, not on the field. On the field, yeah, you know that um, over the weekend, Thomas Partey couldn't take part in the game as now played versus Chelsea Football Club when it ended 2-2. Yes, he didn't take part. But then off the field, Thomas Partey is smiling with his, his girlfriend, Janine. And um, that is because they are revealing the gender of their upcoming baby or incoming baby. And the gender is a girl. She is a girl. And um, she will be the first son, daughter, the first daughter, sorry, <laughs> the first daughter of Thomas Party. Yes, you, you remember that somewhere in September, we reported to you that Thomas Party's girlfriend um, is pregnant and um, is expecting a baby. So after some few weeks, they've, they've done the necessary scan and everything. And Thomas Party announced today that... Um, the the, the 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 child coming will be a girl and that's a very good news for the ghana black stars player the deputy captain of the black stars as well as arsenal football club player now yeah, let's look at this news before we look at david moyes mohammed kuru's premier league five aside team so basically journalist asked kudus muhammad to mention some five players he will use for a five aside team okay five aside team and they actually gave him the teams to choose the players from and the first team was arsenal and muhammad kudus went for thomas party the second team was manchester city and he went for jeremy doku 
Yes, and the next team was Manchester United and he went for Andre Onana. And Liverpool was the next team. He went for um, Thiago Alcantara. And Newcastle was the last team. He went for Alexander Jiku. So, Mohamed Kudus 5 aside APL team is Thomas Partey, Thiago Silva, Andre Onana, Alexander Jiku, and Jeremy Doku. So, that's Mohamed Kudus for you now. This one is where I want to talk about some more. Um, the Western manager David Moyes insists that he is tempted to start Mohamed Kudus <laughs> after Aston Villa defeat. You remember that over the weekend, Aston Villa defeated West Ham United four goals to one. Emphatic defeat. You can't say anything. You cannot go and blame anybody. You just have to accept it and then move on. Now, the coach is saying that he thinks that um, he is tempted to start Mohamed Kudus in the subsequent games. So, what are you waiting for, Moyes? Your players whom you've so much trusted are not delivering as of now. So, why can't you obey the temptation and then start Kudus Mohamed? And Kudus has, has shown that, look, he, he is good when he comes on. He plays well when he comes on. So, give him the chance to start games. And maybe that will be the turning round for your team and for the player himself. And don't forget that West Ham United actually spent a lot of money to get Kudus Mohamed from Ajax. That's £38 million. Pounds. That's a huge sum of money for a player, um, for, for West Ham buying a player. So if you, a club like West Ham, bought a player for £38 million pounds, and you still have the, pl the player at your bench, then that is some very um, <laughs> surprising news over there. So well, the coach should just ensure that he will obey his temptation and then start Kudus Mohamed. Yes, because it's going to be a very, very good one for him. And then the player. Yes, Kudus has shown that, look, he brings goals. He brings dribbles. He will, he will help your team very well. So wherever you play him, he will deliver for you. I don't know what or why David Moyes is still um, finding it difficult to give Kudus Mohamed a chance to start games for West Ham. But let's see in the subsequent games how things go. But in the Europa League there, he starts games for them. Yes, in the Europa League there, he's, he's been starting. So this Thursday, I'm sure he will start for them in the Europa League. In fact, I'm sure he will. He will start for them. But in the EPL, where competitive games are played, where a lot of eyeballs are, that is where Ghanaians want Kudus Mohamed to be started in um to start in their games. So let's see how things go over there. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave your thoughts and comments below, hit the notification bell and select all. Definitely, I'll see you in the next update. Thank you very much for staying with me. Bye bye.